Chief Meteorologist Carson Vicroy here, and I wanted to take a minute of your time to discuss Saturday's risk of severe weather. Now, on Monday, we told you that the Storm Prediction Center had issued a day six slight risk of severe weather. We are now a couple of days into the future, and it's now Wednesday, so that day six risk is now the day four risk. And you can see there has not been a lot of change into the placement of this slight risk. We've seen some eastward expansion to it, which could mean a couple of things. One, the expected timing would make those storms arrive in East Texas during the morning hours. And as the front pushes off to the east, those storms would intensify over Louisiana and portions of the Arklamis as opposed to East Texas, and that would lower our severe weather threat. But there are still a lot of questions to what is going to happen with the timing timing but we will have the wind shear we will also have the instability and a bit of gulf moisture to work with so we're not going to rule out any modes of severe weather at this point so here's what we're looking at on futurecast we'll go ahead and play this to about midnight saturday and as you can see showers fair game early saturday morning we're talking about the pre-dawn hours saturday front is still well out to the west and it begins to slowly slide off to the south and to the east and that will allow some time for moisture to move into east texas so we'll be keeping an eye on that but once that front moves through the severe weather threat ends we do have that sinking air behind the front and i think most of our showers and thunderstorms are out of here before dusk saturday evening but once again folks we are still three days out from this potential severe weather event and a lot will change with this forecast as of right now we have not issued a severe weather alert day for this this could change in the future once we get more reliable data in I'll have a full update on KETK News 4, 5, and 6, and also on Fox 51 at 530 and 9.